Oh my god, Damo and Chrissy broke up. I was so sad all day. If you don't sit your ass down somewhere and go hug your mom and stop overseasoning your food. Oh my god. So yeah, y'all gonna die. I overseason my food. You that's know? why you're gonna die. <laughs> I like high cholesterol choice. <laughs> you also like <laughs> death too. <laughs> All I gotta do is put my mind, my mind. Duffy Gang, it's your boy Tyler Duff, and I'm back with another video. Today I am with the Choice TV. Do, 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 do. Famous Choice TV. Okay, look. The infamous Choice TV. The Cloud Chasing Choice TV. Uh, the Verified Cloud Chaser. <laughs> Talking choice TV. The, he's always talking shit about people. He's so negative. Choice TV. Choice <laughs> TV that's still getting paid. Okay. Choice TV that has the nice lighting, y'all. We're we're using all of his lights, and honestly, yeah. I'm living for this because amazing. We're probably glowing. We are gonna be filming an unpopular opinion video. I think our last unpopular opinion video was like a year ago. A year, a and year and a half ago. yeah, like a year and a half ago. So there's a lot of most different things that <laughs> happen on the internet. Mm -hmm. Yes. So we're here to share you guys our unpopular opinions. So he's gonna give his. I'm gonna give mine. I'm gonna go from there. Yes. So I'll go first. <laughs> My popular opinion is if you don't accept the trans community and you're a person of color or part of an oppressed group, you're a hypocrite. I'm tired of the, well, being transgender is unhumane. You're trying to change your whole gender. But what about some of y'all hoes who are on birth control? Now I'm not saying y'all are hoes, but I'm just saying, isn't birth control unhumane? Shouldn't you just accept the, the, the nut that the nigga gave you and accept the child? Well, isn't birth control unhumane? I'm just saying. We, yeah. gotta, we gotta keep the same energy here. That's oof. That, oof. Birth, I'm sorry, but birth control <laughs> wasn't created true. by God. God didn't create oh God created male and female. Oh well God didn't create plan B pills. God didn't create morning after pills. God didn't create birth control pills. I that, mean that's not natural to me. Doesn't that fuck up with your, your 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 system? Shouldn't you I be see. having that kid? I'm just saying. I so. see exactly what you're saying. Like, don't you be definitely, hypocrite. Exactly. That is hypocritical. You don't have to love the trans community, but just understand that it's a part of, there are no press groups that deserve respect. Well, yeah, you can't say something's and, not natural, but then also doing unnatural behavior. Yeah. Or then, just accept the fact that you're a hypocrite. Just accept that you're a hypocrite if you're going to do that. You're a verified hypocrite. Without saying, oh, I'm not a hypocrite. Yeah. Uh, you're a hypocrite. There's a lot of things that aren't <laughs> natural, but people still do. I'm True just facts. Saying. My opinion basically has not changed since last year, but most definitely there is this utter annoyance for fan cams in K-pop. I just cannot stand, I don't understand the hype of these pencil sticks dancing around. Now this may offend some of y'all, but I literally don't get the hype. They bleaching creams and shit. I don't. Oh, and damn, why they not that white? They. <laughs> How do you really look? Let's see your true colors. Like, and I also think that most of them just sell their souls to these companies, which help push them. Like, have you heard about like some of the K-pop people like speak out about how overly worked they are and after they sign the contracts and that, I feel like these labels be pushing them and then they also push these stars. Cause you know, like a couple of them can about, oh, yeah. you know, like there's just all those type of things. But then on top of that, I also feel like K-pop has one of the most toxic fan groups on the face of this planet. It's just so annoying. K-pop is just garbage in general. I don't know how people listen to that. <laughs> like, what is that? Like, that's like, nonsense music. Yes, it is. And I watch anime and honestly, I just, I, it's cool for like the opening theme song, but I'm like, if you're like blasting throughout the hood, like you gotta just stop. The only <laughs> K-pop song I like is the intro for Teen Titans. Teen Titans, don't Oh yeah. Overall, K-pop is garbage, and anyone that listens to that shit is garbage too. Next. Oh, your turn. Okay, my next popular opinion is I think people should really be a lot nicer to the Kardashians. They're really not that bad. You know what I'm saying? They created a whole legacy for themselves. Kylie Jenner is self-made, got it out the mud. Um, Kim Kardashian is just a beautiful queen. You know, she, like she just takes care of her whole household. Like she put her entire family on. Like, like name another woman who has put other women on. Like women don't put each other on genuinely, but she put on Kylie, she put on Chris, she put on Chloe. She put on Northwest. Not many women put other women on. I'm just saying. No, I'm not. I'm low key trolling. But realistically, <laughs> I think we should all respect Kim Kardashian a lot more. She really, like, I, she, she's a whole legend out here. Like, I, I look up to people <laughs> like her. Like, I legit look up, look up to the fact that she built a whole empire off of social media before it was even popping. Like, she made a name for herself before it was even common to make a name for yourself for your looks. Yeah, it's just that. <laughs> she's a fake she's a fake um supermodel let's put it that way it just seems like she has like a 
peanut sized brain, mm. but it works. It works. It that, works. That's how I see it. I'm just like, oh, God, just queens, natural queens. <laughs> <laughs> I know that we talked about this subject before. Being bisexual. I didn't know being bisexual was something that was just such a huge topic about they're so confused. In my opinion, I don't think bisexual people are confused. I think no. that they like what they want to like and then that's that. But you just let me know something that opened up my brain was that if you're bisexual, that means that you also need to have your brain open to trans and what yeah, else? If you're bi, like, like the, basically what he's saying is if you're bi, you can't say, oh, I don't date transgenders because that makes you kind of transphobic yeah. in my opinion. Or if yeah. you're bi, you can't say, oh yeah, I'm not into people who are, uh, for example, um, who are, there's a lot of sexualities, a lot of sexuality, but if you, yeah. if you only say, oh, I only date m men or women, it's just like, like that's not what being bisexual is. Being bisexual means you're attracted to two different sexualities. Yep. Bi means two. Yeah, bi means Tri two. means three. Yeah. So bi isn't just men and women, like See, I, other sexualities. So you could date a hermaphrodite yeah. would have been an yeah, and I didn't I would have never thought about that until I saw um, a thread on Twitter and then whenever Troy put on a video about it uh, the other day I was like, huh, I guess if you are trans you are technically, you know, you're transforming into like a man or woman So like you can't exclude them because if I'm saying that I like men and women well technically they would be yeah. a man or a woman So to me, I never knew that so a lot of people would disagree with that But I honestly agree if you are bi then that yeah. means that you should be open to also dating um, trans people, but there's just a lot of hate within this community with trans people mm -hmm. and then bi people because I'm, I didn't know any of this until I started. Everybody, like, believe everything. it or not, like, I know a lot of people who are straight, gay, bi, who literally call the transgender community the T word. I'm not even gonna say it, but it, oh, rhymes, yeah. it, it, it rhymes with super nanny. And I didn't but know that was a That's a slur. That's a slur. I didn't, I didn't if know you, that. If y'all use that word, please don't use the T word that rhymes with super nanny. To refer to mm -hmm. transgenders because it's a slur to them. So please avoid that in general because I'm sure you want someone referring to you as a slur. I didn't know that. So yeah, it's, there's a lot of things about sexuality people don't understand. It's a whole spectrum that comes up a lot of things. People just think sexuality is black and white when that's not the case. Yep. I think Queen Naja really could have been bigger than big. It's so unfortunate that she ruined her whole legacy just to be a baby mama. And it's unfortunate that she <laughs> wait. She basically to her talent to do music covers on YouTube and sing lullabies. Like, she could have been bigger than Alicia Keys. She could have been bigger than Lauryn Hill. She could have been bigger than Beyonce. Queen Naja could have been bigger than Aaliyah. Queen Naja could have been bigger than Mary J. Blige. Queen Naja could have been bigger than Shakira. Queen Naja could have been bigger than so many people. She could have soared beyond the stars, but she ruined her potential just for the simple fact of she just wants to be a YouTuber. What a waste of talent. Bitch, give it to me. I would love to know how to sing. You're trying to get me in trouble, aren't you? Eh, kinda. <laughs> Bigger than Beyonce, Alicia Keys. Mariah Carey. Queen. Mary J. Blige. Queen. Aaliyah. Nigel. She had, she has, y'all can't you deny truly it. truly believe it. Insert this? a clip of Queen singing in her bathroom or whatever. Insert a clip of Queen singing. Wait, will you insert the clip? Oh, okay. Yeah. <laughs> you used to call me on my cell phone. Lay down when you need my love. So contagious. Me, baby. Y'all see what I'm talking about? <laughs> Queen can sing her ass off, and she has a lot of potential that she wasted. Yes, she's a new artist, and yes, of course, you know, y'all gonna be mad at me comparing her to Legends, but come on now. Her potential? Y'all can't say this girl can't sing. I am a new and improved person, so I'm going to be nice. I don't think she can sing her ass off, I think she can sing. But I think like the whole hype with the breakup most definitely put her on the billboard, and that's it. But other than that, hasn't all of her songs been flops? And they've all been flops. So it's kind of just like, okay. So that, even the song she did with DDG, died. DDG tried to profit off her momentum, but that failed because. Did they even get on Billboard for that? No, they didn't. They couldn't even get on the fucking Google Play charts. <laughs> <laughs> they couldn't even get on the Google Play charts. It flops. Like, it just it didn't oh, do well. My goodness. It's funny how, you know, they love to brag about being successful and having millions of followers, but yet those millions of followers <laughs> can't even transfer to streams. They're million of People kids. love y'all, but they can't even stream y'all shit. I'm just saying, like, those millions of views don't even go to stream there's a reason yeah I'm, I'm just saying so yeah it's a shame she wasted her hype um ddg tried you, you should have came quicker you should have got that song out of her way quicker rather than just wait for your album to drop for it to flop because he album didn't perform very well i'm like yikes y'all are the wrong people to be wait, he, re he released the album yeah he released an album and it when? he released it back in august actually i <laughs> 
That I, was I, six months really ago, is. and it didn't it didn't really do. I mean, of course, I'm sure he made a lot of money off of you know radio play because he writes his music, and I'm sure he made money off of the streams, but it didn't chart on Billboard. Uh, he he did a you know you know Sway in the morning. No. Sway Calloway, the dude who wore the big ass head wrap on MTV back in the day. Well, I didn't watch MTV. Oh God, for God. I grew up with no cable. I, Tal I grew up with no cable, so I didn't watch MTV and stuff like that. Talon was raised in a cage, so that's probably why. He <laughs> the stuff. I'm like, how do you know what? Uh, he never watched MTV, but anyways, he did no. a lot of interviews with a lot of big media outlets and a lot of media personalities that have been around for a while. And even that, like, you know, he still couldn't get like. A charting album, which is really sad, because you would think of his engagement on Instagram and on YouTube, and with his dedication and his viewership on YouTube with his music, you would think it would like skyrocket. Yeah. But hey, it is what it is. You know what J Cole said. You know what Cardi B about said about faking streams. Oh, oh wow! I wasn't gonna go there, but <laughs> you know what Cardi B well, said. You can't make people gravitate towards your music. They either like it and want to replay it, or they don't. Yeah, true facts. Like, oh Not my God, like that little, little fake knows. ass giveaway he did. Oh my God, I don't want this to be a whole DDG roll session, okay. but basically, <laughs> if you didn't know, DDG literally said that, if, DDG said that, he, he told everyone on his YouTube channel, he did a whole vlog, and he said, y'all, quick announcement right now, make sure y'all um, stream this over and over, go to sleep, stream it in your sleep, and whoever streams it the most wins an iPhone. Oh, I think <laughs> I heard that, and then people actually, like do it a little yeah, bit, and, and then they were asking. A few people did it, and guess what? This shit still ain't charged. <laughs> he was trying that hard to get a song on the chart. <laughs> he couldn't, and it still didn't work. I'm like, yo, that's insane. No, they don't. That make no sense. That Y'all kids sense. fall for every thing. Oh my god. Y'all fall for everything. It's so, oh my god. <laughs> I have to say, I like um, Chick-fil-A's fries more than McDonald's. A lot of people think that McDonald's fries are just amazingly good. I honestly don't. I think that every time I go to McDonald's, they give me these nasty, stale-ass fries that aren't salted enough. I think Chick-fil-A's fries are the best. You know, period. I don't even eat fries because I'm a skinny legend, so I don't eat fries. I don't eat fries because they're very high in fat and very hard in carbs. Y'all should really stop. Like, I'm really worried about some of y'all health. Like, some of y'all are probably gonna get diabetes by the time you're 35, and that's just not good. Please stop eating fries. I think some of y'all just need to eat a salad or something or some baby carrots, because just no. Like, fries are the worst thing you can eat. They're drenched in oil, and potatoes are high in calories. Ugh, just no. Maybe some Maybe some people need the calories, choice. Eh, yeah, until they kill your ass. You know, the government's trying to kill us with fast food. <laughs> you see how long the McDonald's lines are in yes, your city? Yes, yes. Oh my God, why do y'all some, some of y'all still eat that garbage? I don't know why. You don't eat fast food no more at I all? I don't eat fast food anymore at all, except for that one time and the one food that's in the fridge. <laughs> okay, so a couple of times. <laughs> so a couple of times, but <laughs> I'm very careful about what I get. And stop over-seasoning y'all food. Oh my God. So yeah, y'all gonna die. I Anyways. always season my food. I be, you know, that's why you're gonna die. <laughs> <laughs> I like high cholesterol choice. <laughs> you also like <laughs> death too. <laughs> <laughs> I don't think the legal drinking age should be 21. I think it should be 30. I think a lot of people are drinking irresponsibly in their 20s. A lot of people are suffering from alcohol poisoning. A lot of people are using it as an antidepressant. A lot of people are using it to literally like, some people are just only using it as a source of trying to get off. It's just like, yeah, um, I think 30 should be the legal drinking age in all countries. And I know a lot of liquor companies are gonna lose a lot of money, but still people gonna find a way to get it regardless. I just think that the legal drinking age should not be 21. I think it should be 30. People don't drink responsibly, responsibly in their 20s. Young people just can't be trusted. Woo! Uh, I most definitely, I can see exactly where you're coming from because he is completely right. It would just suck now that I am of age if they just changed the law like tomorrow because then I wouldn't be able to drink. But honestly, there would be like a lot more health benefits to people in our age group to not be drinking. So I most definitely agree. But the biasness of me would be like, no, they shouldn't because I'm already drinking now. And then it's just like, it's just supposed to be fun. But no, like car accidents, DWIs, like the rate of DWIs, I believe would go down, buzz, 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 buzz like. And the car accidents with texting and all that would low key go yeah, down too. Yeah, I believe that would most definitely solve like a lot of problems. Um, and I just think that the alcohol companies won't like it because then they won't have as much money. Mm -hmm. At least they won't be killing people. Yeah, so that's the they make money off killing people. Mm, yeah, and about preying that. on people's insecurities, hence why they drink. If you're having a bad day, what do you do? Oh, take a shot. <laughs>
<laughs> I think that what is portrayed on the internet for people to be like, oh my gosh, this couple is so cute, or oh my gosh, they, uh, we have to go out and go out on trips, and then like every other weekend, we gotta always be together all the time, we always gotta grow, we always gotta do this together, we gotta go to church together, we gotta go to work together, we gotta go ride to the store together. I think that's very, 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 very toxic. I'm speaking about it because I am in a relationship. If you do not have individuality in a relationship, then you are literally just using the other person for your own insecurities. I think that you're just using the other person to try and fix whatever's going on on the inside with you. And I think that's why a lot of people get inside relationships, either because they're bored or they just literally have no, they try and find security within being in a relationship. I think that's very toxic because not only is it toxic to you, but you're bringing that toxicity to the other person who just genuinely wanted to be in a relationship, but you just want to be pampered all the time. I think it's really toxic. Yeah. In general, a couple channels are the biggest scammers. And I think uh, on the internet and like social media, it definitely gives this false perception that couples are always in a good ass mood, always wanting to film together, always like just doing this perfect go jolly thing. And then the viewers look at it and then they crave off of it. And then they're just like, oh my gosh, I need this. But in reality, that's not it. No. Yeah, a couple channels. Uh, I, it's kind of insane when it comes to couple channels because when it comes to couple channels, they're obviously, you know, a lot of them are obviously genuinely together, but a lot of them are under a contra contractual agreement. Yeah, I don't really trust couple channels, especially because a lot of them only do the little cute things for like shock value, like the little, shock oh my value. God, the little kissy, kissy, huggy, dubby stuff and then the little edits and stuff. It's just like, mm, I think mainly kids gravitate towards couple channels. The one thing that I don't, don't like about couple channels is a lot of times they more so give people a facade of what a real relationship is when in reality, that's not what it is. People, and, yeah. people think that all relationships, you gotta be like, talking like this, oh my god, you're so cute, I love you so much, like with the little nasty, slobbery <laughs> kiss and shit. It's just like, yeah. that's just a perception of what they want you to see, but they, they're they literally pushing a narrative that all couple channels are perfect, because I'm tired of seeing kids saying, oh my god, they broke up, I'm so sad. Like, I literally hear people saying, oh my god, Damo and Chrissy broke up, I was so sad all day. If you don't sit your ass down somewhere and go hug your mom, <laughs> sad for believe it or not a lot of couple channels a lot of them be having kids for views i whole, I'm believe whole that. ass babies which is another popular opinion that i have i think youtubers are having babies for views i think they're genuinely only being like oh my god let's have a baby because they allow the comments to pressure you because i'm sure you've been there where sometimes comment sections they press you into doing something but you think oh man, maybe I should do it. Cause they're putting that thought process in your head. Mm -hmm. And then that influence you just don't want to do it. But in yeah. reality, that okay. Like people be telling me, oh Tris, you should like do another mukbang where you have like 12 cheeseburgers. You trying to, you trying to, you trying to bury me? You trying to make me, put me in a casket or something? Believe it or not, a lot of people who have babies on YouTube, a lot of them are like in the comments get to them. Like De'Aaron Ken is a good example. They're, they're, they're like the most, the most sane couple. But people be telling them, Oh my God, we're not gonna have a baby. Why hasn't Ken put a baby in her yet? I'm thinking the air. Oh, yeah, people people be saying, I'm thinking the air probably don't like it for her because she's not even she's not even pregnant yet. Yeah, didn't like y'all are so. Something about that? Yeah. Y'all are so weird. Like people are literally telling the like, oh, maybe she don't like it for her, or maybe they're not gonna last because she's still not pregnant. They've been mean, together for four it years. It literally doesn't even make any sense. They've been together but... for four fucking years. No, no four almost five years. I'm like what the no fuck? Sense. So yeah, a lot of couples fall into that because some of them are so weak-minded and they don't have a mind for their own. So they literally are having babies and popping out teeny boppers for views and attention and clicks. And it's sad because they do the same thing like Chad and Alexis. They be out here having, they, oh, they, yeah. they be looking at so many videos. Milking like everything. As soon as they have a damn baby, they be like, Oh my God, baby name reveal, gender reveal. Post labor. Uh, <laughs> post labor, <laughs> what I keep in my baby bag, um, name reveal, my baby's first headshot, my baby's first time eating lemon juice, my baby's first time drinking hot sauce, my baby's first time playing with guns and knives. <laughs> like, oh my God, we get it. Your baby's first time doing this and that. Like, <laughs> we already know you had this kid for a tax write-off. Got a whole tax write-off. <laughs> but I'm just saying, so yeah. Influencers are having babies for views. Not all, but most of them are. Especially the ones who have been together for less than at least two years. Imagine your purpose in life being for a vlog channel. <laughs> Imagine growing up, realizing, oh my God, oh my God, I was born because of a YouTube channel. <laughs> I was born a tax write off. <laughs> so yeah. 
it's been a mo- it's been a while since I made an unpopular opinions because I believe unpopular opinions are like true facts, <laughs> but it's things that people don't like to admit. Mm-hmm. Things that you can say out loud. Like people are still dragging me because I said I support gentrification. <laughs> If people are finally gonna still drag us about some opinions in this. <laughs> I, mean, I already know the, I'm not even gonna read the comments, but I already know the comments gonna be lit as f- but just know I'm I'm not reading them shit. So <laughs> best believe that, you know, when it comes to the comment section and when it comes to popular opinions, yeah, a lot of the times when we say these opinions and stuff, that's how we really feel. Like there's a reason why we don't talk about certain things on our channels. It's specifically because we don't care to put that out into the universe and hear people's opinions in return. There's certain things you keep to yourself. Yeah. And there's certain things that you're okay with putting out. Yeah. Sometimes you're not ready to put certain things out. Yeah. Prada, Louis, Gucci, all these, Balenciaga, whatever. You know, I didn't know any of these brands. This is how poor I am. I didn't know any of these brands until I started doing YouTube. I didn't even know these brands are out there. And the thing is, is that nowadays people need to go buy the Gucci belt. They need to go buy the Gucci slides. They need to go buy all this and da da da. Like it's good to support yourself. Like it's good to like spoil yourself every now and then. But the demand and like to flex and be like, oh, I got money and da 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 and all this. I think like that's just highly ridiculous. And I think that those brands overly charge everybody because they know rappers wear them and then it's going to make other people want to go buy them because they know people like look up to these rappers. So then they're going to be like, oh my God, I need to go get that belt. Just go match this. And honestly, it's just a regular belt. Like You can go get a regular belt from like Levi's or something for like 20 bucks instead of spending 500 bucks on a belt that's literally the same material, but it just says LV for Louis Vuitton. I think those brands are just way too like... It's like, what the fuck? What do you need them for? They just want to flex. It's insane how self-conscious we are. Kanye said it in his song. We all self-conscious. I'm just the first to admit it. Kanye said it best. Most people are just too obsessed with people. If people think, a lot of people are just obsessed with compliments. I leave the house looking like shit every fucking day. And I don't give a damn. But a lot of people just for some reason can't do that. I know a lot of women who can't leave the house without makeup. I know a lot of dudes who can't leave the house. I know... I'm not leaving the house unless I have a haircut. And I'm just like, what? Yeah, literally. Mm-hmm. And so I know people who say, um, oh, no, I wore that outfit three days ago. I don't want to. Like, I'm just I like, bitch, it's called it. a washer and a dryer. <laughs> Please don't wash that shit. <laughs> yeah, just like, yeah, people are self-conscious. Yeah, or like how some YouTubers, like, especially like the more that you grow, they say, oh, no, I can't wear this shirt. I, I wore this same shirt in a video like last month. I'm like, girl, like, then how many shirts do you have? Exactly. Like, people literally comment on my video, like, Tyler, didn't you just wear that? And I was just like, it's called a I washer, sure did. bitch. I, I literally wash my clothes, like, at least, like, because me and Anthony share um, our laundry. So I literally wash clothes, like, every three or four days. Mm-hmm. So yeah, it's clean. And that's my favorite jacket. So the fuck what? Mm-hmm. I personally wouldn't wear the same shit in videos repeatedly, only because I like to. At a fresh start. So I guess I'm self-conscious on camera, but in public, not really. Yeah. Footage is forever. And I don't care what no one in says. In public, I be walking out. I be, I be uh, venting about this on my Instagram. I be looking busted. People be like, aren't you tired? I'm like, I got crust on my lips. I got like, my glasses on. Like My hair is still flat. I get this oversized ass jacket on with these ugly ass shorts. I just be smelling musty. And I be like, I wanna, uh, can I get a photo? And I'm like, mm. see? Most of your fans are teenagers, what? right? Are they like- They are young. Are they mostly male or is it like young girls? Both. Oh wow. There is nothing wrong with pride. It's perfectly fine if you sell your body for sex. I know that sounds pretty cringy, but just because somebody wants to sell their body, hey, do what you gotta do. It's their poom poom, it's their shit. Let them do what the fuck they want. If you wanna bust that shit wide open for a real shit, do what the fuck you wanna do. I'm just saying, there's too many people who are so obsessed with like the whole slut shaming thing and the whole, oh, you're gross, you're paying for that. Is it your body? No. Nope. It's not that serious. I think- so, yeah, I'm just saying, people can do what the f they want with their bodies. People can sell it. People can twist it, bop it, weave it. I think, like, a lot of the I mean, comes from, like, the Bible. I think, because, you know, it we're does. not supposed to be doing that. But like Religion honestly, in general. Yeah, religion in general, that's where it comes from. But, I mean, like, it's literally just your body. Yeah, and a lot of these gender roles and rules in general were created by a whole bunch of, let's just say a lot of it was created by white Jesus. You know that white was supposed to be Jesus. Yes. That's not Jesus. Y'all don't is falling for that shit. This is why people think white is right. A lot of these rules were created by straight masculine white who think that these are the right rules. Jesus ain't white. Jesus don't turn pink like ham in the sun. Okay? <laughs> Jesus don't age like a banana. He was blacker than black. And that's that on that and that's on period blood. <laughs> people say that? 
I don't think so. <laughs> don't think that's so. That's my new thing. And that's on period blood, poo. You've had enough camera time. <laughs> I've had enough camera time. <laughs> <laughs> this is why YouTube keeps demonetizing my I shit. I can see this. this I can YouTube. see this. This video probably going to get demonetized too. <laughs> Y'all, I'm done. Like this video, comment, and subscribe. I'll see y'all in the next video. Go ahead and check out Choice's channel in the, in the um, description box below. Um, and uh, follow this podcast because I'm going to be on there as well. And yeah, I'll see y'all in the next video. Deuces.